Okay, I'm shooting this video to show you how the vacuum lines and fuel lines run on a Rochester carburetor for a 1971 Chevy Cheyenne C10 engine with a 350 V8. Okay, because nobody on YouTube shows you this stuff. Next to the battery on this truck, I have my charcoal canister. There are three vacuum lines coming out, okay? Some of them have four. This one has three. On the left side, you see a new hose, okay? That one goes to the lower manifold on the carburetor behind the automatic choke. I'll show you where that is in just a moment. The one in the middle hooks up to the manifold on the uh, carburetor in front. Okay, now it tees off with another line that goes to the PCV valve. I will show you that one in just a moment also. And the last one, the older looking one, well that one hooks up to uh, the uh, fuel tank. It, uh, it gets rid of the vapors from the fuel. Okay, again, I'm going to show you the lines. The little one runs right over here, comes up, hooks to the carburetor right behind the automatic choke. The second one I ran under my battery box and it comes out on the firewall here. It comes up, I ran it under the radiator cap across the shroud here of the fan and it goes to a T. And like I said, it hooks up to the manifold of the carburetor on the bottom. It has to be on the bottom for this line. Now my old one uh, had two lines on it. It was a Carter. Okay, this is like the original. It's a Rochester carburetor and there's only one large vacuum line. Okay, so it goes here and it would normally just go right over to the PCV valve, but I had to tee it off. If there was another fitting here, I would have hooked this one from the charcoal canister to it. And again, the third one came out, went to the fuel line. It sucks up the vapors from inside the fuel tank. Okay. You can't really see it, but it comes under here and it hooks up under the frame to a metal wire, the fuel wire, uh, I mean a metal um, line, goes right into the cab. And then uh, the other part on the new fuel, fuel uh, pump comes right up here to the carburetor. The only other line you have is in the middle. You have the lower uh, manifold, the middle of the carburetor, and the top. The one in the middle here right here has to be right there that's the way it runs just above that adjustment screw comes out of the front runs along and goes back to the distributor advance that's all that's the only lines you need now there are some that go to the air filter but to fill them in inside here and inside the uh, air filter itself they don't work and I'm not going to worry about it because it's a 71 and in California this doesn't have to worry about the smog laws so that's a brief breakdown of the vehicle itself and uh, I put a lot of work into this thing so far with the new fuel filter and the new uh, carburetor and uh, fuel pump and I redid the air breather today and uh, stripped it down the other day and repainted it today and uh, anyway that's, uh, that's a brief description of the old truck. Now, the only other lines left are on the back, on the top of the manifold, behind the carburetor. Sometimes there's a line that comes out, this one doesn't have it, but on the back of the manifold you can see it right over there, right over there, it tees off. Metal line, like a fuel line, goes up and over, back under the cab to the transmission. The other one tees off to a rubber hose, comes right here into the power booster of the brakes. Yeah, the power booster's old, it's the original. So is the master cylinder. Those are gonna be replaced, but uh, that's a brief description on running your hoses and lines on a 350. All right, hope that helps somebody.